Well, today we're doing our Soldier of the Year, Non-Commissioned Officer of the Year competition for Maryland. And basically what we're doing is we've selected the three best enlisted soldiers and the three best non-commissioned officers in our ranks to compete to see who's going to be the soldier and the non-commissioned officer of the year for Maryland. It's been a great honor. It's um, the, every step of the way, you know, this competition has been really stiff. And every step of the way, I thought to myself when I got to the end, man, I, I don't know if, uh, if, I, if I cut it or not because the competition's just been so good and it's been so challenging. But... It's, it's been an honor. I'm, I'm really happy I did this. I've learned a lot, and uh, I look forward to the next step. We have soldiers that, that want to achieve and go beyond the standard, and we also have non-commissioned officers that are showing that they're relevant to the, to, yes, the yes, training yes. events by actually participating in the training event. And it's one thing to teach something out of the book, but when you go and you're involved in a competition and you're leading from the front, leading by example, that's what a non-commissioned officer does. So, so basically it's, it's reinforcing those soldier and warrior tasks that are vital to our, uh, our job as soldiers. It feels good. It's always a great honor uh, to represent my company, uh, my brigade. The competition was absolutely more tough than it was when I went through the Soldier of the Year competition. The, uh, but it does go to show that as long as you keep striving to at least give it your best shot, that you will overcome the situation.